all right so let's get into this video here a lot of you guys have been asking me about what kind of bait should i start off for whitefish and the simple answer is waxies wax warm um aka whatever you want to call it but they are called wax warm usually at the stores pretty affordable i mean you can find them at walmart for like maybe two dollars or a little bit over but where i go to and where you should go to is this guy right here so I have a good buddy named Mike, um, the Dick Smith's Live Bait and Tackle. I'll leave the links down below. This stuff right here, like for the price, you pay $8.99 for one tub, right? Not two tubs, one tub, and you get a hundred of them. They have other options too, where you get like two and a half dozen for a certain price. But I always go with the hundred tub for $8.99 or so, right? So do check it out on the website or call them. I mean, all their information is like right here. So if you want to, just hit them up. Or just check them on the website and today we are going to separate them because that's what i like doing i like to separate the the good ones from the bad ones the live ones to the dead ones right that make any sense i mean yeah it makes sense <laughs> we're gonna do that today we're gonna dump it all over the paper here and you guys can see they're really lively okay super lively warm Ooh, look at that and some of them are brews which i would like put in a separate container but i keep all the live ones for sure so there we go nice and bright you guys can see that right there so go ahead and dump that and we're gonna separate 200 waxies just for you guys look at these oh these are huge and they'll let you like look at it too i mean i trust them they all they usually throw a bunch of like really nice ones in there so it's not like they're ripping you off they're throwing like some big juicy wax one which is what you want for whitefish so you guys see it, and sorry if I do it like kind of weird because I'm behind the camera and I might like be out of frame. Oh look, this guy's trying to crawl out already. And they're crawling away, so I need to hurry up before uh, my lady kills me. <laughs> she do not want to see this crawling around her carpet. So um, yeah, these are wax warm. If you guys are wondering, this is what they are. It's not focusing because it's focusing on like the contrast stuff, how I have my camera here set up but you guys get the idea this is what they are it's what they look like they're really lively stuff and they're super cool all right so we're gonna go ahead and start throwing the big ones over here and the medium sized one over here okay even though they're all pretty big like I'm judging off of like index finger size and these are freaking massive right here I don't know if you guys can see it but these are massive more massive ones I mean, they're all pretty big honestly skinny little guy right this one's kind of small as you guys can see right there the smaller guy so we'll go over there and you know as, as i'm separating this i'll talk to you guys basically when you rig them you rig them waxy uh wacky style you rig them right through the middle okay and you want to refrigerate them you do not want to keep them in a container at room temperature why they'll start turning into a cocoon on you <laughs> you know they'll um they'll start webbing up and spitting their little web whatever and then you can't use them anymore but what you want to do is you just want to separate the big ones from the small ones okay or medium ones i should say they're not even small honestly they're huge these are perfect size for um whitefish you see this guy right here this guy's kind of dead he's all like deflated this guy hasn't had any protein <laughs> he's a little deflated here so we're going to uh put this guy to the side he's i think he's dead or he or she's dead i don't know but put the medium ones over here and there's a ton of them in here guys and like the discolor one see how this one's kind of brown but he's okay he's super lively he or she is super lively so we'll put over here and you know when i first started off white fishing this is exactly what i used i oh that's a big dude going over here I had questions and I asked my buddy Elijah who introduced me to whitefish and he was like dude don't sweat it it's super easy this is what you need to use and he brought a huge tub of waxies I still remember that he brought a huge tub of waxies and was like dude just wacky rig this into a gold tungsten jig and you're good to go like no sweats I'm like all right cool sure enough I got so hooked onto it look at this guy's trying to crawl away I got really hooked onto it and I loved it. It was so much fun. I had an amazing experience. Till this day, I think that guy for showing me whitefish because I love whitefishing so much. 
And there are some small ones in here, right? Which I'll throw it on that side. And I might go through it again, you know? I might have to, like, plow through it one more time. Because it's easier to tell when you separate them off of the little wood chips here. So that way you can see exactly how big they are. Holy cow, I dig through this area. And there's a bunch of them just hanging out here, being friends. Billy, what are you doing? And yes, you do want to wash your hand. Uh, you don't want to put any, like, moist or salt on them. Because, you know, human skin, we have, like, I guess salt, right? Uh, and you don't want to lotion your hand because that's going to freaking freak them out. <laughs> I did that before and I don't think they survived too long. They didn't like that. Uh, that's how I am with my bass lures too. Like I'll go through all my plastics to see which one is deformed or which one is too much of certain color, too much whatever. Uh, details, everything honestly to me. Like, yeah, sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't. If the fish are feeding like crazy, then it doesn't really matter. But I always take the... Uh, initiative to just do it because you never know what if that day they're super finicky and they're super picky and lethargic and they want something specific then that's when you wish you did take the time to do it right you know all right so now that i have them separated as you can tell right and not not by much at all you can tell which ones are the big ones the right side right here to my right these are freaking big <laughs> these are awesome for white fishing and you have the medium size i mean i think i threw a couple of, like big ones in here but that's okay you know it doesn't have to be perfect but you do want to separate them you can just tell which ones are bigger so oh and i got two over here look at that they're hiding Jeez, two big ones did they crawl out or something oh man now i want to check around the the table and the uh <laughs> on the ground here because i definitely don't want to get yelled at you guys can see big ones medium ones i mean overall they're still a pretty good size for whitefish. You know, some days you do want to use the smaller ones. You want to throw three on a bear hook and just like death stick it. Because that's what they want. They want a ball of like uh, meat, right? And you don't want to waste the big ones doing that because you want to jig with these. These are the ones that are going to give you the good action. But the small ones right here, super deadly when you throw three on a, a single hook and just let them dangle there and just, you know, move around and naturally. And the whitefish, they just can't resist but to eat it right so that's why it's that's the benefits of having the smaller ones but the big ones oh yeah that's what's going to attract them flutter uh jig pound bottom stuff like that so all right guys so what i have here are two pucks these are bait puck for waxies or whatever you decide to put in there um i have a red one i have a yellow one the red one is for the big ones and the yellow one's gonna be for the small ones but because i'm not using the smaller ones anytime soon i'm just gonna put like these into these two okay now the reason i have two i'll explain to you guys in a bit here you don't want to squish them in the pucks, all right? Because once you bruise them, they're goners. They're dead. They're not going to be lively like this. So this is how you. This is how I prep it, and this is how I think you should prep it too. Um, first, you want to sprinkle some wood on there, some fresh wood. You don't want any use. You don't want to use any old ones that are moist. That's why it's important to like not lotion your hand or use hand sanitizer because you're gonna mess up the wood and they're gonna die basically just put wood chip on the bottom use fresh wood that you just get from the bait shop uh, that way they stay alive longer now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pour some in here i got some wood in here already so some in there okay make sure they got room right make sure they have room to social distance so they don't get a uh, covey in there right and i'll put the rest in here <laughs> the reason why you don't want to overflow is because if you close the like cap on them and you you twist them or you bruise them they're dead they're no good and they're gonna die they're gonna rot and they're, it's gonna affect all the other ones so i'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some wood chip right on top because they like that they like the blanket over them like that all right just a little bit uh, they can dig their way down to you know hang out and you know do their thing yeah now you want to put the cap over it that way you're not hurting them or bruising them like i mentioned and they have room you can hear the witcher move around. Oh, jeez. You can hear the witcher move around a little bit. Yeah, this is how you prep them. This is how I prep them. And these smaller ones, I threw some wood chip in here already. I'm not going to use these anytime soon. So I'm going to keep them in the fridge. This is what I'm going to be taking with me. And this is how you prep your waxies to catch some whitefish.